Okay, so WebWork is our online homework system, and you will find that when you go into your modules, each module will have a couple spots where it says WebWork. Now, depending on your instructor, this uh, link might look different. In my course, it just says click here. So uh, your course may look a little bit different, but when you click here, it's going to take you into the uh, where to log in. Now, uh, again, each instructor, instructor might do this a little bit differently. I use first letter of your first name, last name. So my name is Becky Menning. So my username is B Menning. Um, your password will be the exact same thing. So if your username is B Menning, your password will be B Menning. If your, uh, if your username is R Smith, or if your name is Robert Smith, you'd be R Smith, your password would be R Smith. Okay, that's how this works for everybody. So you go ahead and you B Menning, B Menning, hit continue. It's going to take you to this. You will have less buttons on the left because you are a student and I'm an instructor, but it is what it is. Now, the one thing that you're going to want to do to begin with is change your password, unless you're okay with everybody knowing what your password is. Um, but if you go into user setting, you can type in your current password, right, which would be B Manning, and then you can change it to whatever you want. So I do recommend you change your password. Um, you might want to make it um, you know, whatever your uh, Ivy, uh, my Ivy password is, or Ivy Learn password, whatever. I don't care what you do. You can keep it. Just write it down so you don't lose it. Um, so you want to make sure you have that taken care of. Okay. So the next thing that we want to talk about is the homework sets. So this is, it takes you to this when you go in. Um, so the orientation, uh, there are seven problems. This is not for a grade in my course. Every instructor might be different, but I have set this up that it's not a grade in my class. Um, but I do recommend you do it. It'll take you 10 minutes, and at least then you'll have an idea of how web work works. If you've never used it before, it might be useful to you. Um, but after that, we get into the sections. Now, section two has 19 problems. Some of these assignments have 19, 24 problems. Some have five. So they're very, very varied on how many problems in each one of these sets. So um, if you click on one, okay, so we have a problem, right? There's a lot of crap in this one. Um, there are pro this doesn't have a hint. Let me go to a section. You have... Um, a chance to have hints in some of these problems, okay? So the problem is the hints don't show up until you've got the problem wrong three times. So if I submit my answer, it's incorrect, okay, I need a dollar sign, okay, um, I submitted, it's incorrect, okay, let me try six, submit my answer, it's incorrect. When you have get it incorrect three times, if there is a hint to a problem, it should show up here, not the solution. There should be a hint. Um, some problems don't have hints. This one looks like it doesn't have one. Um, if you need a hint and there's not one available, shoot me an email and I can make you a hint. Okay, so um, I don't know how many of these I have hints for. I don't remember. Um, but that's... Uh, there's a hint. Okay, so this is what it will look like. After you get it wrong three times, this hint will show up. And the hint, sometimes it's a video example. So the video example will be two, three minutes, and it will kind of be a basic problem like this, maybe different numbers. Um, sometimes the hint is kind of a, a word hint, you know, read a sentence and it kind of guides you to the right direction. But again, if you get a problem wrong multiple times and there is no hint available, um, reach out to your instructor um, or email me and we will make sure that you get a hint if you are stuck. Um, so I would say if you do it, you know, three, four, five times and you really just aren't sure what you're doing wrong, email your instructor. That is crucial, crucial, crucial. Um, not every problem has a hint. I want to repeat that. Not every problem has a hint. Um, so if you need help, you do need to reach out and um, your instructor can help you. Now I want to show, this is the instructor view. So you can see that I have a show past answers. So when a student emails me and says, I don't know how to do this, you know, I've, I've tried it so many times. I can see exactly how many times you've tried it, and I can see every past answer you submitted. So I had a student this past semester who said, I have been trying, I don't know how to, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. The student didn't even attempt the problem one time, um, and that's, you know, a little bit frustrating. I said, you, you try the problem, and then we'll talk about how to get you some help. So just letting you know, we can see what you've been doing. Okay, now there are three blue buttons here that I want to kind of throw out. Preview my answer. 
So if I typed in 4 for this answer and previewed my answer, it simply shows you what you typed in. There is no purpose to the preview button. None. You know you typed in a 4. That's it. Checking answers will tell you if it's right or wrong, but notice what it says up here. Answer only checked. The answer is not recorded. So even if you get this correct, um, it doesn't do anything. It does not record in the system. So again, that is not so great either. You want to make sure you hit submit. Submit answer actually records it in the system so that you have a grade. So you can get a problem wrong 400 times and if you get it right on the 400 first time it counts it as a hundred percent. So there is no penalty for being wrong 400 times if you get it right the last time. So I just want to throw that in there. Um, there are some problems, and I think uh, you see the show me another. Some problems have the ability um, that you can practice additional problems. However, the original problem that you see, so this problem eight, this is the only problem that counts towards my grade. So if I can't get this one right, but I show me another and I get that one right, it doesn't matter. The show me another is simply extra practice. It has no effect on your grade. Only the original problem in the original problem list counts towards your grade. Okay. Um, yeah, so grades, you can see how you've done, right? So far, all zeros because there's nothing there. And the last thing that I want to show you here at the very, very bottom, you see video for lessons 080. Now, in the back of your packet, towards the back, I don't remember the page number, but there's a blue blank sheet of paper. And after that, there are um, extra pages um, for every section. So let's say that you're in section 8, which is unit 1. So unit 1 was under problem 1. These are all additional videos, additional, that will help you. So if you're stuck on lesson 8, you can go to these 080 videos and have extra practice videos with pages in the back of your packet to help you work through those. And that is true for every section. Right, these are not homework. These are just extra videos. So unit 2 is problem 2, all of the extra videos. And then um, problem 3 is unit 3. So just throwing that out there. Um, also, I don't think I threw this out. Section 2, you see on the right, these are the videos that go with your packet. So if you're working on Unit 2 and you're like, wow, I don't remember, you know, the ratio stuff, you can go back and re-watch the videos. You really should watch these videos before you try the homework. Um, but sometimes you're like, oh, I just need to go back and reference that real quick. They are here on the side. So as you're working through the homework sets, you get to Section 6. There's Section 6 videos. So the videos for the, uh, for the units are throughout um, the web work. There are a couple different spots in the course as well. So hopefully that's a decent um, introduction to web work. Thanks.